Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to a quick video where I'm going to show you how to unlock the frame rate in Alien Rage Unleashed, the new game which has just been put up on Steam. Basically the game's using the Unreal Engine so it locks itself to 62 FPS. And personally I don't like this even if you're running on a 60 hertz monitor but especially if you're running on 120 hertz or 144 hertz. Now the issue with Alien Swarm on Alien Swarm. I'm going to keep saying that Alien Rage Unleashed is that the INI files are encrypted. So for instance, what we're going to need to do is go to your Steam directory, your Steam apps, your common, Alien Rage, single player or multiplayer, it works on both, binaries, not binaries, sorry, take that back, um, A-F-E-A-R game config and then you need to go to your default engine which if we look here is totally encrypted makes absolutely no sense whatsoever so then what you need to do is go to playerattack.com and they have got a bullet storm ini decryptor and i realized that this was using the exact same engine as bullet storm i know that was an unreal engine 3 also but it had a game for windows live INI file and I thought this has not got games for Windows Live and it looks like Bullet Storm. So I decided to try this and it is the INI. So we download this here. Just gotta wait. I've got this blocked because I don't want to be giving people's adverts away. And then you can click here to start a download. Close this. And then you've got this here. I've already downloaded it once and I've already put it into the folder. So you need to pull this into this folder, like so. So I'll use this new one. I'll delete the old one just to uh, show you that it works. And then we need to get our default engine, grab that, drag it down to the INI Encrypt, run. Now when we click on the engine again, bang, you can do this. And the way that you need to do, what you need to do next is do a is it a control? Yep, a control F and search for smooth. And this will take you to smooth frame rate. You need to leave this on, but what you need to do is change your min to the minimum that you want. So if you're running on 120 hertz, I would recommend putting 120. And then your max is 122. This will cause slight VSync issues. I do understand that. However, the smoother frame rate, 120 hertz, is definitely worth it, and the game just performs an all lot better. It actually looks 10 times better because you know yourself, even running on 120 hertz monitor, the refresh times of the pixels is a lot faster. So 60 hertz actually feels a lot choppier than what it would do on a 60 hertz monitor. So you change these from this would be 60, and this one, no, that one would be 22, and then this one would be 62. But change that to just two different and it'll always try and lock it to that. The way smooth frame rate works is if you get a frame rate dropped to like 10 normally, it'd shoot back up to 22 and then it'd slowly climb back up to 62. So in this, if it drops to 120 or below, it'll ping straight back up to 120 and then just climb slowly up to 122. And the reason why you want to do this, the reason why smooth frame rate exists normally is it work at getting rid of that scan line. But 120 hertz, it's not really much of an issue. So we've done that, so then we have to save it, file, save, close, then you drag it again to INI Encrypt, run, double click, it is back encrypted. If you're having issues when it comes to mouse sensitivity, you can also do default input. So we'll just drag this down, run, because I find the mouse sensitivity quite high in this game. And then, where is it? Yeah, mouse sensitivity at the top. At default, it's on 60. If you turn it down to minimum, I put it on 10. 10 feels quite good with 1600 DPI. For my opinion, you probably find that quite slow. I do plan on low sensitivity. But yeah, there you go, guys. I hope this guys this has helped you guys out. So, and it, blah, 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 blah. I'm getting all my words confused. I've just woke up just to play this game. Um, so yeah, if this has helped you out, don't forget to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness and to like the video if you like the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.